Welcome to this hair transplant progress update video. Hey guys, my name is Richard. I'm currently on week 21 after my hair transplant, uh, which took place in Istanbul, Turkey, October 23rd, 2019. Um, so, this week um the growth has been quite nice i mean overall i don't think i've really noticed now like a week to week change in growth but i mean overall it it's coming through really nicely um i'm noticing like some small things that i'm not particularly pleased about like i've got on this side of my hairline it seems to be a little bit more back than it was here but i think i did notice the same thing like initially after the transplant was done um it's just i guess with all the shedding and everything it wasn't as noticeable as, be as before. Um, otherwise, if we just come in a little bit closer, I think everything is like coming together quite well. Um, the only thing I would say, you can still see slightly my scalp shining through. So you can see the natural hair on this side here and obviously this side here. So you can see slightly like denser shadow over here where the hair is like shining through a bit more. Obviously with brighter lighting, it looks a bit more uh, see through then with like um, darker light I guess um, so it depends where the light is coming from it, it does look different from place to place so if I sit here with that like daylight directly on my on my scalp you can see every, everything shining through to be honest even like my sides and stuff so I think that's just my natural hair like that as I said before my natural hair is a lot thinner than you know most people so I've got quite delicate and thin natural hair and it does take a while to grow usually anyway so i think growth wise everything is fine um i haven't had a haircut in a few weeks now i could do with the sides being trimmed but i think i'll stay out of uh hairdressers for a while at least until all this corona stuff calms down um having said that i hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and i hope nobody's really um badly impacted by this virus um, we, we seem to be doing okay um, here for now. Um, I do have quite a big impact on my business, but you know, what can you do? It's just one of these things we have to um, evolve with the virus and find other income streams and find other ways of, of making money and, you know, surviving. So, but other than that, um, everything seems to be going good. Uh, overall, I think um, this month, four to five has not been as as busy as i thought so i thought um like because like month three to month four i saw like massive amount of growth compared to the previous month so i was hoping it was going to continue in the same same way um and although it has stayed like the hair has stayed nice it hasn't grown quite as much as i was expecting it to grow um but I think it's gonna be like sort of more towards month six when the density is gonna increase and hopefully we'll see a bit more, a bit less scalp shining through and a bit more hair growth. Um, other thing I wanted to mention is like the, the numbness that I was always complaining about, that is almost gone. I've just got the tiny, tiny bit left at the top and, and even then it's not like, you know, it's not like full on numbness that I was feeling before. It's like really, really light. Um, I did get some weird stabbing sharp pains in my head, but I think that's just like, because stuff is still, as I like to say, brewing underneath the scalp and stuff is still going on. So that might not be a bad sign. Um, but other than that, I, I'm not gonna do like the usual 360 thing because uh, the donor area is pretty much recovered. There's nothing there to see. But if, if you take a look, everything seems to be fine now. So one thing I did want to mention, um, I started using about four days ago, this thing that I mentioned before. So this is a uh, Waterman's Growth More Hair Elixir. So I previously was using this spray that my uh, hair transplant surgeon gave for me, which was like a twice a day use anti hair loss spray. You basically spray on your hair. It was kind of like watery substance. You spray it on and you leave it. It had no odor. It didn't really make your hair sticky or greasy or anything. So it was a, um, it was a very sort of pleasant product to use. And in general, normally once once I've used it, it gave me kind of like a little healthy glow and shine to my hair, if you can say that. But um, yeah, as that ran out, I was looking for alternative products to use, and this 
this thing on the box did seem to say that it was something similar. Uh, again, you use this once a day, you spray it, you leave it in. I don't like it as much as I like the other one because this one, when you apply it, sort of comes out more soapy and thick. It's kind of like slimy and gooey kind of substance that you rub, rub into your scalp. Um, but yeah, it's, it's okay, I guess, but uh, I don't think it's gonna be one of those things that I'm gonna stick to. I think once I run out of this bottle, I don't think I'm gonna use this product. I'm gonna try to find something that I like a little bit better, uh, unless of course the results are really good. But being honest with you, I think all of these like products, they don't really, they're not really gonna get you any results other than, I mean, it, to some extent, it's gonna make your hair healthy and stuff because you put in all this, you know, ingredients in your on your scalp so it, it will help you with maintaining a healthier scalp and all this kind of stuff and healthier hair but it's, it's not going to be like a miracle growth formula where you're going to wake up one morning with an afro if you've got like thin hair like mine that's just unlikely to happen but i'll give this thing a go and i'll, I'll see i guess if if after i finish this bottle i really have some like ex, like amazing results um then yeah i guess i would stick to it but from what i've experience so far the last few days it's just not not that pleasant to use <laughs> uh, but yeah it's all right we'll see, we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes so what else uh, this week I'm getting my garden done um, it, it needed a major uh, <laughs> major change because it was kind of like left and overgrown and stuff since we had some work done on our house so the previous build is trashed it so then we end up uh, so now we have to get somebody in, in to come and fix it up. But I think to be honest, it's probably a good thing because we'll, we'll do it up nice and, and tidy now. Uh, we've got a puppy coming in like three weeks. So really looking forward to it, really psyched about having a, a little dog around here. It'll be very nice um, getting a little um, Siberian Husky. Uh, so it'll be like having, it'll be having, uh, it'll be like having another baby in the house, I guess for a while. Um, but yeah, uh, lots of things coming up. But yeah, but that's that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe and enable bell notifications so you don't miss out on any future content I post. Um, by the way, if you've got any comments or any thoughts, um, please use the comment box below. I'll try to answer as, as to, to you know to the best of my knowledge. Um, I guess not many people are thinking hair transplant these days with all the coronavirus and everything going on. But you know, it's just. One of those things, as I said, we just have to evolve with it and, and see what we can do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked the content. If you did, don't forget to give me a like, uh, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next week. Next week is gonna be the big mark. It's gonna be five months exactly after my hair transplant. So we'll see how it's progressed over the past five months. Sort of, I'll try to capture as much as I can in one video. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye for now.